The John Ball Zoo is moving into the next phase of separating itself from Kent County management. In April of 2011, Kent County Commissioners approved the transition. The John Ball Zoo Society is working to create a nonprofit organization to run the facility. Now the search is underway for an interim CEO. That will sustain the zoo into its future, make a stronger future for the zoo. process is going smoothly. Everyone's working very well together. The John Ball Zoo officially opened for the season this weekend. There are a few things coming a little later this year. A revamped bear exhibit and a new treehouse area for children. And we stopped by the zoo to get a sneak peek. We're totally changing up our bear exhibit and it's going to provide a nose to nose experience for visitors. What we did is we took two exhibits and blended them into one. This is like a really neat little place where you can go in almost like a cave and view the animals and the pool is right on the other side of that. That's going to be a waterfall, the pool as you already saw. This will be dirt and bears tend to like to dig and as Andy said, nose to nose, you're going to be right there, the bears are going to be right here. One of the things that we've also been working on uh, that will open in May when our bear exhibit does is the children's treetop outpost. And that's an area that's kind of like a treehouse up in the woods of the Idaho Forest Realm. And kids can go across two rope bridges and climb on a cargo net as they get into the area. And they get kind of a sneak peek into the backside of the bear exhibit. Admission to the zoo is discounted until May 10th. $5 for adults and $4 for children ages 3 to 13. Well, sure, it's cold outside now, but this is nothing compared to thousands of years ago. We'll take you inside the exhibit that lets you learn what life was like here during the Ice Age. Do you think we have it rough during the winter? Several inches of snow and slippery roads, sure, it's tough and dangerous, but not as dangerous as it would be if you came in contact with one of these, a saber-toothed tiger. That's one of the animals that lived in the Great Lakes region during the Ice Age. And you can learn all about it at Ice Age Imperials at the Tri-Cities Historical Museum in Grand Haven. This exhibit brings together a range of materials that no single institution would have available to show. And it's also very interactive. Besides telling that story, you can engage the fossils. There are objects that you can touch, 12 and 14,000 year old woolly mammoth tusk, saber tooth cat teeth. You do get to relive the way it was in the past and there are scenarios that are presented to you that sort of test what you might have done as an early paleo hunter. You can pretend to be a paleontologist, you can dig for artifacts. Lots of bizarre and interesting creatures, but many of which have a legacy that is still with us today. They're not dinosaurs at all. There's about a 60 million year gap between the dinosaur age and the um, ice age. These animals, while bizarre and interesting, they had descendants that still survive in this region. The wolves, for example, um, the muskox, descendants of those animals still exist in different parts of the world. By the way, we had six-foot beavers here that weighed 450 pounds. There is a photo op where you can have your picture taken with a six-foot beaver. And one of the most unusual animals to inhabit this region was the 10,000-pound giant brown sloth. There was a significant change in climate. We're beginning to get a much greater and better understanding of those patterns of change. The waters froze up in this region uh, to the extent of two miles high, two miles thick. Then when those uh, glaciers eventually melted, they formed the natural landscape that exists here today. They formed the Great Lakes. The river systems that are here, the dune systems, are all a legacy of the Ice Age. We would have a very different Michigan if not for the Ice Age. That's absolutely correct. A six-foot beaver. I'm still trying to get over that one. The museum is on Washington Avenue in downtown Grand Haven. It's open every day except Monday.